Now, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and before we get ready to head into April, we wanted to remind you of the importance of screening. Here to help us is Brown University, Dr. Susan Chang. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Thanks Howard. for coming in, Doctor. Um, a lot of people who are watching may be putting off, saying, oh, I don't need to have it done, I don't need to have it done. It is so important that you get this screening. It's true. Um, colon cancer is still a big problem. Um, it is the third leading cause of cancer in men and women combined. Um, and it is um, the second leading cause of colon cancer death. For gastroenterologists, this is not acceptable because we know um, that we actually have the tools to detect tumors early and actually even prevent uh, tumors from forming. And it's easy. The test is easy. Mm -hmm. People get freaked out. They get scared. They hear horror stories, which it's, you know, it's an easy test. It's true. Um, over 25% of patients who are eligible for colon cancer screenings have actually never gotten one, um, and it's because they're nervous about the test. So our goal today is actually to talk about some of the aspects that make people nervous and hopefully um, diminish some of their fears. So talk about the tools that are actually used. So our goal is to uh, look at the entire lining of the colon, and so we have a colonoscope, which is a long tube um, that has a little light and a high-definition camera at mm -hmm. the end, and that way we can actually navigate through the entire colon and take a good look at the entire lining and look for masses and uh, polyps, which are small clumps of cells that we think are the precursors for colon cancers. Um, the major advantage of this test is that when we're in there we can directly visualize these polyps and take them out at the same time right. and that can reduce your overall lifetime risk of developing colon cancer and save a lot of exactly. lives as well also folks maybe they're worried about the prep because that is what you hear anytime anyone has to go i mean you hear it all the time anytime anyone has to go for for one for a test like this yeah. oh i had to do the prep oh the prep was this it's not that bad it's not that bad um you know uh the prep is to be honest, sometimes the worst part for a patient, right. the most challenging part, but we've come a long way. We have a lot of different options now that are not as much volume um, as previous preps. You're used to the big gallon jug. Um, we have preps that um, are only about eight cups, um, sometimes even 30 ounces, and there are even commercially available preps that are only 12 ounces okay. that you can get through your provider with a prescription. And it's painless. It's not completely painless, but most people tolerate it very well. Right. Um, uh, all of our patients get um, some sedation, a combination of medications that put them in a twilight state of sleep called conscious sedation. Mm -hmm. um, for patients with um, more medical issues, we can work with our anesthesiologist for a deeper sedation. But honestly, there are people who have the procedure done without any medications right. at all right. and do just fine. And do just fine. Now, what is the age that you say you must have it done by this age? Right now, the guidelines recommend that for an average risk patient that you start at the age of 50. Um, but what happens if you have, if, if, if in the family, there may be some, you know, so signs of it? So if you fall into one of the higher risk groups, which are people with a family history of colon cancer or colon polyps, some patients with genetic syndromes or inflammatory bowel disease, mm -hmm. um, and even some special populations like African Americans, we actually recommend um, earlier screening. So for okay. African Americans, we recommend starting at 45. Um, if you have a family history, we recommend starting at the age 40 mm -hmm. or even 10 years before okay. the earliest stage. All right, very good. Thanks so much for coming in today, Doctor. Now, for more information from Brown University on colon cancer screening, you can head to roadshow.com.